elevation of BJP strongman and former Chief Minister B.S. Yadirappa to the party's core electioneering team has caused uh, mixed feelings within the BJP Karnataka. The ruffled feelings forced the High Command to send in party seniors, including National General Secretary of Karnataka, Arun Singh and Union Minister Dharmendra Badhan to assuage the Netas. Can the BSY magic work on more voters as well? We'll talk about this with our guest. Joining us on the show is uh, Pashan G.S., BJP spokesperson. Also joining us on the show is Lavanya Balal, Congress spokesperson. Uh, Raja Lakshmi Joshi, political analyst, with us on uh, the program as well. And last but not the least, Majid Haidri, political analyst, joining us on the program as well. The BJP is trying to get back somebody who was out of politics. Now, I mean, he had said, Vidurapa Saab had said that he would be out of poli the uh, formal politics. And they are getting back somebody who is even not good with the other party colleagues as of now in the Karnataka state. And then. Okay. Raja Lakshmi, let me come to you. Taking a leaf out of what Mr. Hyderi said, do you think uh, that the BJP is uh, not spoiled for choices for the first time when it comes to you know having somebody who perhaps is not going to be as contentious as BSY in Karnataka, as is the BJP is on a sticky wicket? Raja Lakshmi? Yeah. Good afternoon, Vinny. Good afternoon. Uh, you know, there was a very big difference in uh, what uh, Yadurappa ji spoke in the, in the assembly in the, in, the, in his last speech and what a lot of people interpreted it as uh, he did not say that he is resigning from active uh, politics He's, he didn't say that he is retiring from active politics all he said is that he will not contest uh, uh, you know further so that uh, there is a big difference in that and he, in fact he had very categorically said that he will ensure he will put in every effort to make sure that bjp returns to power uh, in the coming elections. That is what he had said. And uh, uh, that is how he has been going ahead with it. And that is how the party has also interested uh, him with the uh, responsibility. And I don't see anything wrong with that. So he is he is today, the he is definitely the face of Karnataka BJP. Uh, you know, the administrative head is definitely somebody else. But then he is the face. He is somebody who is connected with the people of Karnataka. The, he is uh, the one of the tallest leaders there, so uh, I don't see anything wrong in that. In fact, uh, you know, he has been saying uh, uh, very, uh, uh, you know, categorically that uh, uh, all those charges of corruption, etc., they have to be investigated. Do a due course of action will follow. Uh, you know, all all of that he has been saying. So he is not uh, supporting anybody who has been accused. He is not taking any wrong steps. Actually, he was modest enough to say that he doesn't want that airport to be named after him, uh, and he has, uh, you know, he offered that it should be named after a, a legendary poet instead. So, you know, he has. I don't see any kind of bitterness or any kind of a grudge from his side, and definitely it will, uh, it will help the BJP in Karnataka uh, a long way if he is in charge of matters. And uh, he, as a leader who is supporting the BJP, is definitely going to be a, uh, an ace. It will definitely not work against the BJP in any way. So I don't see anything wrong in him actually taking over the charge. In fact, I say that you know this is it only shows good discipline because in the other states there are people who are vying for the post of the chief minister. They have so much bitterness about who will be the chief minister. It's like the public spat all over. Even in uh, even in Karnataka also, if you see the Congress, there is a huge uh, public spat about who is going to be the chief minister. So here he has very readily stepped down, and not only that, he continues to support the BJP. He continues to support his party. He continues to give his guidance, and in whatever way he is cooperating with everybody. I think that shows a lot of cooperation. Uh, uh, you know, it is definitely a lot, lot of good discipline also. So I think that other parties can take a leaf out of that and if they can understand how to treat the stalwarts rather than uh, you know, making fun of uh, all these kind of situations. So I think that uh, he is doing the right thing and that the PJP uh, central uh, you know, uh, heads also are taking the right decision and making sure that he is very much a part of this campaign. Okay. All right, Mr. Lavanya Balal. Edir Appadri, I think, deserves more. He deserves better, is what we feel from the opposition. And it's always good if 
parties have their internal problems sorted it is not good for you know it it may be very good for the opposition parties to take advantage of a broken house but a uh, um, house which is in order is good for the state acknowledge that is a very big uh, regional satra in indian politics we also uh, would like to remind bjp that they denied vijayendra an mlc ticket when mr yadurappa ji sought an mlc ticket for his son last year if yadurappa ji was so important and if they valued yadurappa ji so much then they would not have denied a ticket to vijayendra of course they have given him a bigger organizational role as far as their vijay sankalpa yatra right now you i need to now say this is because our show no 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 okay mr hydri wants to come in majid go go on majid go on majid go on let let him come in Go ahead. Just a minute. Just ten seconds for the rebuttal. I will give ten seconds for the rebuttal. Okay, kindly. Fine. Congress is banking on family politics and dynasty politics. They are so much disturbed that. See, we do. We are a party who don't. But but that but, Prashant, the Congress says that they are also banking. Prashant, the Congress is also yes, saying that they are banking on anti-incumbency. The people of Karnataka are looking for a change. Even if we talk that, that doesn't mean they are disrespecting any of us or whatever. Vijayendra will get party responsibilities in the way party wants it, and not and not given the seat that his father held or given MLC seat because somebody else would want it. Differently, not. No, no. Not for the party and whatever responsibility the party will give. Okay, Majid, I want Majid to come in now. Majid basically explains the plight of BJP in Karnataka. So there is nothing to glamorize or glorify about BJP in Karnataka when you look at this situation through the logic as I explained you through the recycle bin story. Yes, that is all I wanted to say. Over to you, hmm. Raj Lakshmi. Raj Lakshmi, you want to respond to that? Do you think, first yes. of all, the, is the BJP in trouble in Karnataka? Uh, Vinit, I have two very uh, strong points to say. Uh, I request uh, Majid Haidari ji to uh, please refrain from using terms like uh, getting somebody out of a recycle bin. Nobody has sent anybody to a recycle bin. Uh, Yadurappa ji is definitely not a leader. that you put uh, put into trash and then you get him out of a recycle bin i strongly object to you using well he he, he was just making an and analogy he was just making an no, analogy no but uh, but that is a very wrong term uh, uh, vinit because uh, you know uh, and i have said right at the start of what i spoke uh, last that he had not ever uh, re retired from active politics he had said that he will not contest elections there's a huge difference there and uh, another thing is i hope i heard uh, heard it right when ms lavanya bhallal said something like uh, you know yadurappa ji was disrespected by not giving his son a ticket i mean is that what she said actually and is that what i understand because i find it ridiculous if somebody has actually said that because i think that whoever is the most efficient whoever is the most qualified will be given a ticket and at that point of time if the party did not find his time to be efficient enough to be given a ticket i don't see anything wrong in that in spite of that if yadurappa ji is leading the campaign in karnataka if he is still being the face of the karnataka bjp I, i think it speaks a lot about the party it speaks a lot about the man and it speaks a lot about the ethics and the ideology of the party i think that that is something that the congress should take a leaf out of instead of just going on you know kind of uh, 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 idolizing some one particular family or uh, making sure that their children and grandchildren and the great grandchildren and everybody keeps getting tickets that is not how a democracy uh, functions vinit and then uh, these people have the audacity to go out of the country and then they talk about how our democracy uh, is in trouble uh, because because of the presence of bjp to be in our country it is because of bjp that our democracy is safe vinit i think that the congress needs to take a leap out of what is happening in the bjp right now vinit right, lavanya wants to come in lavanya go ahead lavanya go ahead yeah uh, first of all i think uh, yeah okay. also about you know family politics vijayendra and mr raghavendra who is also an mp are sons of mr yadurappa so what are you talking about uh, family politics mr bommai is a son of a former cm he is it is also family politics let us look at the number of list of jay shah is a son of a bjp leader what are they talking about family politics they need to get their you know many can i respond many can i respond yeah go ahead let go ahead no, no. Vinay, no, i i would no. uh, return first Look, Vinay, I would return first to what Lavanya said. The Sorry, definition of family, the definition of family politics should be that not we are not against people from same family coming to the same party. 
One oh. family controlling a political party is called family and dynasty politics. Like oh, how the so-called Nehru Gandhi family is controlling the Congress party. No oh. one single uh, father, son, or father and sons are controlling BJP or uh, in our party. So therefore, Congress oh. mindset is family only, family first, and they are loyal to that family. That's the family politics they are talking about. And secondly, uh, in so far as Vijayendra's cable uh, yeah. is concerned, probably uh, uh, what Rajakshmi meant was that not about the inefficiency of it, probably the party did not deem right at that point in time to field him as an MLC. They have given him a bigger all-national post now. It is not about his capability then, but in recognizing what it needs to now do for the elections. Because he had one care paid by poor by campaigning extensively there, and party had seen his ability to gather okay. the crowd and also get the results in, in the party's favor. Okay, yes. time. Raja Lakshmi, quick closing comment from you and then we wrap up. We've run out of time. Raja Lakshmi. His capabilities are not in question. And okay. also to... Okay, uh, okay, okay, okay. Mr. Yes, Rajiv, uh, we've run out of time. We've run out of time. We've run out of time. Raja Lakshmi, quickly. Yes, uh, Vineet. Uh, what I was saying at that time was that at that particular time, the party thought that the ticket should have been given to somebody else. And I also want to remind the uh, Congress that Mr. Singh. Rajnath Singh, Mr. Oh, Rajnath Singh's son, he, he was denied a ticket for the 16 times and after that for the 17th time he has got a ticket and he has won. He has won with a great margin. But you know the, the party does not run on something like somebody will be given a ticket because he is somebody's son. But it will be on the basis of okay. merit, it will be on the basis of the what the party finds the best possible uh, option at that particular time. That is how the All party right, we have run out of time. Thank you everyone for being a part of this conversation.